Charlie, when you look at Deshaun Kaiser's game, several things jump out. What stands out to you? Well, I'm talking about the positives. The number one thing to me is athletic ability. This guy has the ability to make plays outside the pocket. He can elude the defender, get outside, and he's a threat both as a runner and a passer. So number one is athletic ability. Number two, what I got to talk about here is his strength of his arm. This guy has a big-time arm. He can hit the deep outs, which is what you want from a quarterback in the NFL. I've seen a guy throw the, guy, throw the ball 65 yards downfield. Strong arm. And number three, big-time throw ability. What do I mean by that? It's the ability to hit a ball in a tight window between two defenders. In the NFL, you've got to do that. In college, you're throwing at space most of the time. But he can hit the tight windows. Big-time throw ability. Charlie, trap season is essentially... Uh, finding negatives in people's games. What are the sort of criticisms of Deshaun Kaiser's game? Well, number one is accuracy and ball placement. Ball placement is hitting the guy in stride, not behind him. Accuracy, this guy will miss deep balls, he'll miss short balls. This guy is not a consistently accurate passer. That bothers me because you usually don't improve on accuracy. All right, number two, poise. I've seen this guy kind of lose it in the pocket where he, he folds under pressure at times, he'll take off and run before he should, or he'll hold the ball and take sacks. Got to have better poise under pressure, in my opinion. And finally, decision-making. I've seen this guy force the ball. I don't necessarily think he reads coverages as well as he should. So inconsistency, to me, is the biggest negative, and it comes on those levels, accuracy and decision-making being number one and number two.